The Airbus A321XLR vs Boeing 757, the two most capable single-out aircraft. 757 was meant to succeed the 727. Boeing designed a powerful aircraft with high thrust-to-weight ratio for improved takeoff performance. The 757 would become a workhorse-capable single-out aircraft. With the opening of ETOPS, its unique payload range capability allowed airlines to open new long routes across the Atlantic that had low load factors insufficient to fill white bodies. By 2010s, however, airlines started to look for a replacement. Boeing ended production in 2004. The largest single out was the Airbus A321. In 2010s, it was undergoing the Neo transformation. Less fuel burns meant more range, and A321 Neo came close to the 757, but the airlines still weren't convinced it had a range to replace 757 on long Atlantic routes. Airbus did respond by launching the A321LR. It was a hit, with many replacing the 757 and 767 with the LR. Airlines, however, asked Airbus for even more range to open more new routes. Airbus launched the Ultimate A321 XLR. It featured a new structural fuel tank behind the wing box, new upgraded landing gear, new intermittent flap settings, and a higher MTOW of 101 tons. So, is this variant a true 757 replacement? Before we find out, please subscribe for more epic videos on the way. Performance 757 carries 200 passengers to class and flies a range of 3,950 nautical miles. The A321XLR carries 206 passengers to class and flies up to 4,700 nautical miles. Engines 757 has either the Rolls-Royce RB211 or Pratt & Whitney PW2000 engines, producing 43,500 pounds of thrust each. A321XLR has either the Pratt & Whitney PW1100G geared turbofan or CFM Leap 1A with up to 33,110 pounds of thrust each. Efficiency A321XLR is claimed to burn 30% less fuel per seat and per trip than the 757. The 757 with its older, less efficient and overpowered engines plus heavier wings and fuse latch burns more fuel at 3.79 kg per km flown and 3 litres per 100 km flown per passengers. Figures are over a longer 3,400 nautical mile mission, flying passengers in a 3-class layout. Cabins Boeing 757 has a narrower interior and older interior. Airlines can retrofit new mood lighting and larger bins, but it's still a noisier cabin, a smaller cabin with narrow 17-inch wide seats. Overall, the A321XLR has a nicer, newer airspace cabin. It has larger overhead XL bins, new mood lighting with welcome effect, a wider cabin featuring 18-inch wide seats, a wider aisle, and most importantly, the newest 4th generation in-flight entertainment and Wi-Fi systems. It also has a lower cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. It has larger lavatories and is the only to have a PRM functionality on any single-out family. 
That said, the 757 has larger galleys for crews to work in. Advantages and disadvantages 757 not only has impressive range payload allowing airlines to open new long dead routes, but also impressive air fuel performance with its powerful engines and large wings. It can take off out of short runways and has a steep climb capability. These features though increase fuel burn, increase weight, and makes the 757 an expensive single out to produce and sell. A321XLR on paper has more performance than 757. It also has a larger, nicer cabin for long flights. Plus, it has a lower maintenance and operating cost thanks to commonality with all A320 family aircraft. Pilots do not need to be retrained to fly the XLR, and many spare parts are common. However, it lacks the 757's air fuel performance. Orders 757-200 received 913 orders. A321XLR has received already more than 550 orders from over 25 customers, many of which are existing 757 operators but also new airlines looking to open new markets. Airbus projects to sell around 8,000 A321XLR aircraft. So overall, is the A321XLR a true 757 replacement? Well, it's not only the only replacement, but a fantastic aircraft offering more performance, a nicer cabin, or for a lower operating cost. With many secondary airports upgrading airport infrastructure, it should have sufficient air fuel performance. It is the 757 of the future. Thanks for watching and till we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky hit.